Okay, this section is going to help you with page 566 in the textbook. Find the quadrant in the six trig functions if the cosine is negative two thirds and theta is between 180 and 360. First thing you have to do is figure out what quadrant the theta is in. So I draw my little quadrant plan here and it says cosine is negative, so what quadrant could cosine be negative? Remember the little code I gave you the other day? A silly trig code. All the functions are positive here. Sine is positive and its partner here. Tangent and its partner function. And cosine and its partner function are positive here. So the cosine is positive in these two quadrants, so that means it's negative here and here. All right, on to the second clue. The theta is between 180 and 360, so 0, 90, 180, 270, 360. So between 180 and 360 puts her here or here. One of those quadrants has two checks, and guess what? That's where the angle is. So now we know the angle is in quadrant 3. So now what I do is I sketch the angle in that quadrant. So there's my theta, and the cosine is 2 over 3. I need to figure out which number gets the negative, though, the 2 or the 3. Do you remember? I hope you remember the 2, because going that way is negative, and hypotenuse is always positive. Now, the tricky part, we do need to find that missing sign. But then again, you know Pythagorean theorem, right? So negative 2 squared plus some x squared, which we don't know, equals 3 squared. So, 4 plus x squared equals 9, x squared equals 5, x equals plus or minus root 5. Now, should I use plus root 5 or minus root 5? I hope you said minus root 5. We're going down. Now I have the sides. Now I can find the six trig functions. Sine of theta, cosine of theta, tangent of theta, cosecant of theta, secant of theta, cotangent of theta. What's the sine of theta? Here's the theta, opposite over hypotenuse. Negative root three over three. It's cosine of theta, negative two over Three. What's the tangent of theta? Negative root 3 over negative 2. Oh, we could call that positive. Alright, the cosecant is 3, negative 3 over root 3, which I should rationalize. Negative 3 root 3 over 3. This is negative 3 over 2. This one's 2 over root 3. 3, so it's 2 root 3 over 3. And there you go. Um, there are the six trig functions of the theta, given the clues. So you have um, eight of these problems to do. I think you can do them now. Good luck. Okay, in this next section, and this is on uh, 572, I'm going to show you how to use your calculator to get some trig functions. Now, the important thing about the calculator is you need to have it in the proper mode. So check the mode by pressing the mode button. And I hope you can see that mine is in degree mode. Do you see the degree thing there? Is is darkened in, in the background, so I want to be in degree mode. So check your calculator, make sure you're in degree mode. And then it's just plug and chug here. So for sign 15. Find the sign button down here, press sign, and then type in 15, hit enter, and I get a whole lot of decimals, but I want four significant uh, digits, so round back to four, so 2588, so equals 0.2588. Okay, what about tangent 22.6 degrees? Not my degree buttons here, symbols. All right, 22.6. Well, that's easy. Press the 10 button, and then 22.6. Enter. All right, I got to round that one. 
five. So four one six three. Four one six three. Cotangent. Oh man, there's no cotangent button. But I can do the tangent, and once I get the tangent, right, then I just flip it over because tangent and cotangents are reciprocals of each other. So what you do on this one is you do tangent 34.7. All right, so let's do that. Tangent, there's a tangent button here, 34.7, 34.7, and I get 0.6924, and I want to flip that over. So there's a x negative 1 button on your calculator right here. You see it? x negative 1. All right, I can just use that button. So, second answer, x negative 1. And I flip it over, and that gives me 1.444. We want four significant digits, so there I go, 1.444. All right, how do I do cosecant 27 degrees 40 minutes. Oh, another technicality here. First of all, it's cosecant 27 point what degrees? I need to change that to a decimal. Remember how to do that part? 40 divided by 60. 40 divided by 60. So you get 0.6666. So let's call it 0.67. Now I want to do cosecant, but I can't, so I want to do um, let's put a hint here, x negative 1 key. So I need to do the partner function, which is sine. So I want to do sine of 27.67, and then the 1 over x key. So here we go. Let's try that. Sine 27.67, and I get 0.464378. But I want the cosecant of that, so now I do um, second answer x negative 1. And I get 2153. 21534. So 2.153 around. Alright, let's do one more. Secant 4920. What do I do first? I need to do secant 49 point what degrees? 20. So 20 divided by 60. 0.333. So 0.33 degrees. And then I can't do secant, so I do cosine. Alright. So let's clear this out here. We're going to do cosine of 49.33. I get an answer. What do I have to do to the answer? I have to flip it over. To flip it over, you do second answer, and then hit the x negative 1 key, and I get 1.534. And let's just check that out, and it is correct. So that's how to do these. So remember, once you get, um, once you get the the secant, I mean the cosine of a number, you have to use the second key, the answer key, and then the x negative 1 key, which flips it over. You could just do 1 divided by second answer also, but it's fun to use the key. All right, you should be able to do all of these now. Good luck.